Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 19th of 2020, well, it is titled The Veins of Heaven. So what do we see here? Well, looking off and up into the sky, we see a long streamer stretching across the sky. These are actually clouds and very high clouds, very high up in the atmosphere. And they're also known as what, known by the name of noctilucent clouds. And what that means is that they are night shining. So clouds generally look white during the day when the sun is shining on them, but will darken at night once the sun sets. And here we are looking at a time after sunset, and yet this, the clouds are still being illuminated. Now that is because they are very high up in the atmosphere and they are able to see around the curvature of the earth. So while the sun has set for our observer here on the ground, the sun has not yet set when you're very high up in the atmosphere. And we're looking here at things that are about 50 miles up above the earth's surface. So we're not just looking very uh, close to the earth, we're looking well up into the atmosphere, not into what would be called space yet, but up into uh, very upper regions of the atmosphere. Now, why do they still shine? Well, again, the sun has not yet set for, for them. From their perspective, seeing around the curve of the earth, the sun is still approaching the horizon and would be just in the process of setting. And if we'd watch them over time, they would slowly darken and disappear as the sun went behind the horizon for them. Now, we see this a similar effect when we look at other things. If you ever watch a sunrise or a sunset, and let's say a sunset, for example, the sun can set for you standing on the ground. But if you're standing next to a tall tree, you can look up at the tree and see that part of the tree is still illuminated in sunlight. Well, if you were to climb that tree and look, look you would still be able to see the sun. You're getting a little bit higher perspective. You're able to see a little further along the horizon and around the curvature of the earth. So you would still be able to see that. And if you watch it over time, you could watch that shadow slowly creep up the tree and until it finally got the entire tree into darkness. So it is really all a matter of perspective of what you're able to see based on your location. The higher you are in the sky, the longer it will take the sun to set as compared to someone on the ground at the same location. They will see it set first, and you would see it set a little bit later because of your higher perspective as looking around the edge of the earth. So that was our picture of the day for June the 19th of 2020. It was titled The Veins of Heaven. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Solstice in Space. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.